This course is targeted to management and monitoring of stream analytics job. My name is Anindita and I am the instructor for this course. I have a background in working with Azure Cloud Platform as a Services, that's in short Azure Pass, Big Data, IoT and DevOps based platform. With more than 9 years of experience in Azure and Big Data based development, I am typically focused with Azure Big Data, IoT, Machine Learning, Data Science and Azure Platform as a Services development. I have been co-author and technical reviewer of five books that is published from Pact Publishing which was mainly into Hadoop, IoT, Big Data and Azure and I was also being author of another video course on stream analytics published from Pact. If you would like to learn more about me, my public profile is available on LinkedIn that is www.linkedin.com slash in slash Anindita Basak. In this course, we are going to learn in the first section the management and monitoring of stream analytics job where we are going to have a basic introduction on stream analytics job reliability, how to monitor job programmatically and how to scale stream analytics job for increasing throughput. In the second sections of this course, we have demonstrated about troubleshooting and testing of stream analytics job where we mainly discussed about how to troubleshoot a stream analytics job based on the responses from the job diagram, how to design the job diagram of the troubleshooting of the stream analytics job, how to check the resource health for a particular stream analytics job and how to monitor the system held and to design the support request for a particular stream analytics job that's using Azure portal. Then in the third section of this course we have discussed about how to debug and operationalize streaming diagnostics log. In the debugging sections we have demonstrated the videos on how to debug the jobs using select into clause, how Azure Service Bus Event Hub manages the order handling of based on the events, how to optimize the streaming units based on the streaming unit factor, how to operationalize stream analytics jobs using diagnostics log. In the fourth section of the video, we have defined about a case study that is social sentiment analytics using Twitter. So basically in this particular case study, we have discussed about how to design and build a social sentiment analysis case study that's a POC using Azure Machine Learning API, Azure Stream Analytics with intelligent dashboard using Power BI. So this particular case study was based on Twitter sentiment analysis where we have been able to demonstrate end-to-end in-depth analysis of that case study along with using intelligent dashboards with Power BI. So we have been able to see in live that the top live tweets count with sentiments, top Twitter trending topics. We have been able to demonstrate the sentiment count by each tweet topics. Basically we have demonstrated in that section that the tweets have been collected on the different topics like Xbox, IoT, Microsoft, Windows, Skype, Azure, Office 365. We have been able to demonstrate a real world graph that has been collecting the tweets and over the sentiment count over the time. We have been able to see that what was the total sentiment count over the time and based on that we have been able to demonstrate that the social sentiment analytics using Azure Stream Analysis. We have also demonstrated in the fifth section of this course that a real-time IoT solution using stream analytics. So there basically we have discussed about the architecture and implementation concepts of IoT solution using stream analytics where we have designed and defined about how to utilize the real-time toll booth scenarios and we have utilized in stream analytics job for toll booth analytics, the entry stream, exit stream as Azure Event Hub. We have defined a reference storage as a registration that's as of Azure block blob storage. Similarly, in the sixth sections, we have demonstrated the third case study of this course that is based on fraud detection analytics, where we have discussed and designed and implemented the solution architecture concepts of real world fraud detection analytics utilized mainly into telecom scenarios and which is very common in terms of fraud detection for SIM card analytics. 
So what's the expectation from you from this course? So we are expecting that you should have at least two years of experience with any object oriented programming languages. There is a good to have knowledge with Microsoft Azure, but that's optional. And also it's good to have completion of another course on Azure Stream Analytics, which is available from PACT. That is real time data processing with Azure Stream Analytics. That is again based on Azure Stream Analytics end to end, and it's available from PACT Publishing. And uh, you should need to have the software specifications you need to have at least wayside windows 10 windows 8 or 8.1 or windows 7 even that's make sure that it's 64 bit azure trial subscription is good to have to the completion of this course visual studio i think expected at least should have 2015 or 2017 good to have community edition is also there which is a free version and azure sdk 2.7.1 or later edition is recommended to work with this course and specifically while doing the labs of this course. So what will you gain after taking up the course? So you'd be proficient with Azure Data Platform with Stream Analytics development. You'd be able to understand after completion of the course how to implement real-time data streaming architecture with Azure using design, architect, and management concept. You'd be one step ahead with Microsoft Data Platform certification You'd be familiar with advanced Microsoft Data Intelligence with Cortana Intelligence Suite, Azure Machine Learning, Streaming Analytics with Big Data. And finally, you'd be able to understand and be a solution architect regarding workflow of Azure IoT Pipeline architecture.